What is going on guys? I am back with a new FL Studio tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to teach something that I wanted to make a video of a long time ago when I first figured out how to do it in FL Studio because I've never really used side chaining in any of my songs until recently. And so I've started using it and I honestly I never knew how to do it in FL Studio like I said until recently. So now I'm just going to teach you guys how to do it real quick in case you don't know how already. Um, it's extremely simple. So I'm just going to show you this little loop I have without the um, without it being side chained yet and then I'm going to show you the steps to take in side chaining it. Obviously I just put something simple together. I grabbed a few uh, percussion loops and then layered the kick over it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take your kick, just control L, put it in the first available channel. You can put it in one. There's nothing in one either. It's just I set up this new project and there technically is something in one. I just don't have it in the pattern right now. It doesn't matter anyway. Okay, um, and then go ahead and grab your loops. Control L for that one. See it's in six. Just manually take this to six so it doesn't put it in the next one. And with your, make sure you're clicked on your kick drum or whatever you want to side chain, your snare drum, whatever it is that you're wanting to side chain to. Um, be clicked on that channel. Go over to the channel that you want to side chain it to, which would be this percussion right here. Go down this little arrow, right click it, and side chain to this track. Now, you're going to want to go to that channel, click the channel, throw in a fruity limiter right there, easy. Click right down here under limit where it says comp. Right click where it says side chain and make sure the channel is clicked that you want that you're wanting to side chain to it. Okay? And um, from here it's it's fairly simple. You just it play with it by ear. Um, I'll go ahead and loop this right here so we can so you can see what I'm doing right here and you'll hear the difference that it makes. And you just play with it to your liking. Um, there's no set way that you need to do it. Just what I usually pl um, mess around with is the release, the ratio, and the threshold. And those will usually, um, playing around with those will give you the results that you're wanting that sound like. And you can do this with synth, you can do this with percussion, you can do it with your hi-hats, your crashes, whatever you want, guys. Like I said, um, very simple thing to do. Um, and thanks for watching, guys.